the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Brody Moore, producer Tyler, as two minutes on the board and topics at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> one of us may need to shut the other one up. Yeah. Probably me, me shutting her up for 30 yeah. seconds so we have a trusty mute button to do that. Uh-huh, and watch the other one when they press the button to see them scramble and try to fill 30 <laughs> seconds of the other one talking. Brody yeah. failed miserably yesterday if you missed that one. Anyway, uh, we love it when chat calls us out when we're wrong, so don't be shy. We can take it. Let's kick off our stories with a nice dose of controversy in League of Legends. Okay. The mid-season invitation of the game yesterday, with one exception, things went smoothly. But before the day began, someone at Garena, the company who runs League in the LMS, accidentally turned the stream on early. Said official also forgot to close his desktop, which had a browser open to an esports betting website. Within a few hours, Garena announced that it had had fired the official due to the ethical principles of esports. So, Brody, yeah. did Arena make the correct decision here, or uh, do you think this maybe will affect the LMS somehow and how it's perceived? Yes. So, oh. oftentimes, I actually believe that people should be given a second chance. You mess up, do a second chance. If you mess up again, you're out. But this, this is very, very risky. I'm mm. all or all for legal betting on esports. Yeah, for sure. You're, if you're of the age and you go on a website that has a license to do it and you're doing yeah. it legally, that's fine. The issue comes when you're working for the company that is running the tournament that you're betting on. Because yeah. now that brings into question, are you causing problems? You could cause a technical issue mm. with one of the player's computers on the team you're betting against to make them lose. There are a lot of issues I have with that. And if they did not get rid of this guy, they would have just been under flack for a really long time. Like, oh, is everyone betting? Are they rigging matches? Is this all scripted? So they well, had to get rid of this guy. Well, yeah, now because he's done that, that means they have to actually go through and check. They An should go through yeah. and check every other employee employee's computer they need to see the history in that as well because uh -huh. you're right this is this is insider trading this is insider betting this is not yeah. okay this is completely illegal That's not you good. can of course yeah this is not good at all like yeah um, i'm also all for betting i love me some gambling but you have to do it legally and you it can't you can't be involved in any way with what it is that you're betting on this is really this crosses the line completely but just goes to show that esports is still so young and there's so many things that need to be sorted out mm -hmm. especially when it comes yeah. to betting and it's kind of scary out there to think about all the people getting away with stuff like this that haven't been caught yet well it, it and a lot of it smoothed out we have seen i mean we've seen orgs you mm. know not paying players and stuff right yeah. so it's like i think um I think we're, we're always going to go through these like hitches. We're going to have these problems, mm -hmm. um, and they'll just they need to happen though. But now you'll probably never see this this happen again. The good thing for Definitely this guy, we'll see it happen again. yeah, probably. The good thing for this guy though is now he can go bet. Uh, <laughs> but worry. now he can't. But maybe he was winning before because he affected the matches that happened before that. We don't know. I guess we don't know. We'll he find out later cheat. another time. We are moving on the next story. Longtime FGC news site Event Hubs is looking for a new writer to cover Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah. But in the job application, it says that applicants must play a set of Ultimate online in order to gauge their skill in the game. Some of the FGC, like Gutex, thinks this is a good idea to test a writer's basic skill. Mm. But many more thought the idea was stupid, like James Chen, mm -hmm. who thinks that passion and writing ability trump any amount of skill a person may have. Yes, James Chen. Oh. Yes, James Chen! No, I, I love James I Chen. I love James Chen, but I do not agree here. Oh, of course you don't, because you do fit the mentality of Guntex more, Gutex more, Pog Chen. Uh, <laughs> you you do, really, because you're on the other side of the fence, I feel like, for most of these things. You lack empathy with a lot what of... What do you mean you, I you, lack you do, empathy? You lack empathy, I, and so The does only skill I have is empathy. I lost all my intelligent points and put them all into empathetic points. Okay, you've Here, yet to show me this is what it is. I believe if, if someone is writing about something, yeah. you need to know what you're talking about. Now, I don't think this guy's got to be, like, top level, like, you know, top 100 in the world or anything, mm. but you have to know what you're talking about. If you start writing about something and it clearly clear that you don't really understand and the pros will pick that out the people that know the scene will pick that out on the internet you will get called out and if you don't know it looks bad on the company that employed you to write that stuff because no one's going to take those articles seriously anymore i want to know that the person that i'm employing to write about this game knows about the game at least to a they're, little degree, you just know? Because, just because they're not the best at playing the game doesn't mean they don't know about the game, Brody. Basically, no, you can, no, no, what you you're saying to me right now, though, no, what you're saying to me right now is that you're basically insulting my whole life in video games because I'm not, ama because I'm not amazing at video games. But you know but I them. 
Exactly, but I know them, so I have the passion behind it and the understanding behind it. I know the developers, I know the people, I know the people that make these yes. games. I play the game enough to understand but the, what I'm the saying basic is, mechanics what if, of the game. I'm watching the game, I watch these pros do what they do, I respect the hell out of them. So respecting a game enough should be should be good enough for you to jump in and be able to write something amazing. I think amazing. you may have missed my point. I didn't miss I'm your point. I'm saying someone that comes in, we pull, make it better. There's a really good writer that you'll know, write sports stuff. Do you think you should suddenly start doing esports stuff without knowing the game at all? That's no. Perfect, you know what? Thank you so much for bringing that up. There are so many amazing sports writers out there that can't play a lick of sports. They stink at sports. But they, they can't they've even play been like in it. League baseball. No, they've but been they, in it and they know the game. They, they they've know been the in sport. it, but they're not professionals at it. They don't. But they understand the it. meta. You don't have to be good. You exactly. have to understand You're, how the game works. Are we arguing the same point now? I have no idea. Yeah, because you lost sight of what you were no, talking about. No, you I'm, don't know what I'm talking about. You're, you're, you you are really bad at this. No, you basically just started agreeing with James Chen. You need to know the game that you're talking about. If you don't, you're not getting the job. You know the game. You don't have to be a professional at the game. Okay, so basically we're both agreeing with James Chen. Thank you I'm so much. My with point James exactly. Chen. Brody, he doesn't even know what the F he's talking about. I swear to God. We're Yesterday, to Borderlands 3 gameplay reveal went off without a hitch, but online things got pretty spicy. Gearbox CEO Randy Pitchford said on stage that Borderlands 3 would not have loot boxes or microtransactions. But when Game Informer, Game Informer talked to developers, it turned out that the game would have cosmetic microtransactions. When they reported on it, Pitchford had a meltdown, cursing out Game Informer and its editor-in-chief and accused them of lying, all because he doesn't believe cosmetic purchases in-game are considered microtransactions. So, Brody, is Pitchford right on this? <laughs> are cosmetic purchases microtransactions? <laughs> Randy! I already did not like Randy. Why? And, oh, dude, he had a he had a tantrum on Twitter a few weeks ago. It when wasn't so, a tantrum. So, yeah, someone's was like, just... hey, man, respectfully, someone said, hey, man, unfortunately, I can't support this game because it is going to be yes, on a service I don't want to use. And he's like, good, then you won't need to be following me and block them. Like, how childish you have to be to yeah. just, like, Oh, any criticism, I'm going to block you. And now he doesn't know what the word microtransaction means. Yeah. Like, how are you running a games company when you don't understand basic concepts like that and uh -huh. the concepts you're putting into your game? Jesus. Yeah, well, I guess to him, microtransactions meant that it aids your gameplay in some way. Like, he's maybe referring to what everyone was salting on EA That is for. a type of a microtransaction. That's a type of microtransaction, yeah. So maybe the, there was a disconnect there with the communications team and, and people that were prepping him to do, um, you know, uh, to speak at the Borderlands reveal That's at the fine. party. Um, they're, they're, I'm just trying to empathize a little bit with Randy yeah, because but it's he's got a lot of pressure he also, just being the CEO. It would have been fine. It would have been fine if if he had been like, you know what, I didn't know, I, I, sorry, I was misinformed on what a microtransaction was. Yeah. But instead, he's going out and calling all the people, calling them out liars. They're saying that they're making him look bad. No, you're making yourself look bad, That's buddy, true. by not understanding and not accepting any criticism. This guy does That's not true. know how to be, and I get it. It is it is rough being in game development. Mm. It is very stressful. You're going to get a lot of hate. I'm sure he gets a lot of death threats and stuff. Constantly. I'm sure there are a lot of things that are not good, but that is not how you deal with with those in the public light. You either just don't say anything or you just say, hey, I've had a lot of issues with people. I'm going to have to block people that do this. You can say it nicely. Yeah, and just be you kind can say about it. Nicely, You're right. But it's but he's hard. Being it's a baby hard. About it. Listen, it's hard not to be salty when it's just been happening for so long. Yeah. And you have to deal with a lot of gamers. Like we just saw it even yesterday with the Rocket League community just trashing all over the Epic and Fortnite <sighs> marriage. Like mm -hmm. it, we see it happen all the time. The immediate reaction from gamers, especially, or even gatekeepers, I like to call them, is to be hateful, is to just score whoever but it there is are in charge. Better ways to handle it uh, than the way he does. Anyways, okay. we're going to move on. Lastly, we have uh, all love to play video games at our downtime, of course. Uh, but for the Boston Red Sox, that downtime won't be spent playing Fortnite. Several players on the baseball team have said that Fortnite has been banned from the team's clubhouse for being a distraction. The Red Sox currently hold a 14 and 17 win-loss record this season. For reference, Fortnite was played in the Red Sox clubhouse all last season, and that team went on to win the World Series. So That's you know, maybe too, this right? is gonna this is gonna hurt them, or maybe they're like, oh, I think they're like fourth in league or something now. It's like you guys aren't first. Fourth no more Fortnite. No, okay, hold on. Fourth in the AL East, which is yeah, very okay, bad. Yeah. Um, and, and especially because like the Red Sox are supposed to be amazing this year. Yeah, I mean it looks Should it looks bad it? on them. But they're just having a slow. They're just having a slow start to the season. They'll pick it up. Don't worry. They're going to be fine. I don't think they should. I don't think video games should be banned in clubhouses. But it's again up to the team. It's up to the management. Like if the manager doesn't want them playing, then it's then they don't get to play. Like that's just how it works. And they can save that and they can play games together on their off time. But I do feel.
feel like, especially with games like Fortnite or anything, you can squad up with a team. It's really great for camaraderie. Like, it's just nice to yeah. all get together and play. So I don't see anything wrong with playing video the games issue, with couples. I feel like it's the a The issue could come is like they got their switches and they're like on the bench yeah. playing <laughs> during the, the oh, games. Oh, I would having. never be maybe then you call it. Maybe then you call it. But like, yeah, no, I mean, like, we're, we're video game enthusiasts here. So I think we're always going to be an advocate for playing games. For sure. I do understand that they should be focused on their game. And if they're not living up to the coach's standards right now, then of sure get rid of it for a bit, a permanent ban on it. But oh, is it just Fortnite? Like, can they go and play Rocket League? Okay. Well, like, uh, that, they just switch games. Um, no, but the thing is, like, they players were getting in trouble for playing during games, and that's where the problem oh. is. That's where the problem is, yeah. like inside okay. the clubhouse. Oh, no, you can't no, see okay. it out there, but inside the clubhouse, that's not fair. They should be watching the, their other teammates actually play the game of baseball. This is why so many people yeah. salt on baseball all the time, because they feel like they're not real athletes. They're just like hanging out, they're sitting there, they're doing nothing. There's some chubby players baseball, but... making their way and, and making professional um, athlete money when they're just, you know, kind of chubs and eating <laughs> a lot of pie. Like, they don't, a, a lot, lot of, of money, don't, too. Yeah, a lot of people don't respect baseball players for that reason. So, I mean, having this attached to it, being like gamers and not paying attention to their other teammates playing the game, I then yes. So, yeah. understandable why it was banned if that's the case. They should, they gotta just respect the team, you feel? Yeah. Respect the team. That's fair. I mean, I'm all for video games, but yeah, get, do your job you're being paid to do first. Uh, really. Yeah, I win something. But I would be happy with the Red Sox not winning anything this <laughs> all entire right. Anyways, season. No, really. We, uh, now it's time to see what the streamers are up to and clip it. Stream snipers are one of the worst things streamers have to deal with, but XQC found out that some of them can be just so dosh garn adorable. <laughs> Please do a hoodie with Pepe hands on the back. Smile. <gasps> Please do a hoodie with Pepe hands on the back. Hands Smile. up. Please do a hoodie with Pepe hands on Chad, the back. Chad, how good is the VSS? Smile. We, Please do we a need hoodie gun tears. with Pepe hands on the back. Smile. <gasps> Max. Oh. I'm sorry, man. I had to. Those I get banned, dude. They're going to ban me, dude. I'm oh. telling you. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. I'm so sorry, tapped. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I... I'm sorry, man. I, I liked having you on, man. It, it was nice to meet you. It's all good. It's all good. It was nice to meet you, buddy. We have a good day. Shroud okay? killed me multiple times. Yeah. Moxie! <laughs> I've had the. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, that, that, that was good. That was, like, the one good thing I've seen XQC do. He actually apologized. I, but wasn't, he felt this, but so, wasn't it sarcastic? No, so if he did so if he <laughs> didn't kill the guy, he could be uh, considered teaming up with other players, which is against the term of service. Mm. So that could have been an issue, maybe an issue. Oh, I don't think. Excuses for him. That's yeah, cool. I don't think I don't think he would have gotten banned. But I, oh man, I, I don't know. I, I love it when kids are just just innocently just playing the game. Like it's what? so fun to just hear him have a hands up. Like that's so that's so fun. He, he, that yeah. makes those moments. Like there's been nothing in this world that has tainted them or ruined yeah. their and, mentality and even or life XQC in any way just yet. Couldn't bring that to to be a bad clip. He it, it was even good with XQC. I don't know. In I seem he seems sarcastic, but I mean <laughs> hey, let's move on I'm, here. I'm up for the hate. Uh, Destiny is the latest streamer chiming in about S Fan and mm. Ms. Kiff being banned over sexual harassment alleg allegations and here Here's what he had to say. That's like, that's, that it feels really to <laughs> me that somebody would reach out and do that. It's really, 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 really <laughs> that, um, that somebody would do that because that type of <laughs> follows you around forever. Like that action is going to cost Ms. Kiff thousands of dollars just looking at the ban itself, not even looking at the fact that he might not get bounties anymore, but like just looking at the ban itself is going to cost him thousands of dollars. It also puts him at risk for an elevated ban next time because if he gets banned again, it's possible that his next ban because this is a seven day is instantly a 30 day ban. Um, right. And then it also makes him look bad for future anything, whether it's sponsors, whether it's employers, whether it's another streaming platform, because now, oh, Mizkif, he was banned for sexually harassing a woman on stream. Like, it looks really bad. Like, mm -hmm. there are so many really f parts about, like, how this happened, and it's, I, I don't know. I don't want to talk much because I don't want to get them in more trouble, but, like, if this happened to me, I would probably get banned from Twitch. I feel like it would be really hard for me to not go nuclear on this. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, th there might be some context, context that you yeah. guys need here. So, um... These guys, uh, Miss Kiff and NZ, the, they, uh, they were at a, a, an after party, um, mm -hmm. at, I think it was a PAX, mm -hmm. and uh, they were just filming, streaming, like you know, streamers do at a PAX party, yeah. and uh, there was a cosplayer uh, that they were talking to who mm -hmm. definitely dresses very scandalously. Oh, uh, wait, very... somebody type in chat right now, explanation point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you take your shirt off, you're saying objectify me. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, she was very, very scandalously. So they were having fun. They were playing like a, you know, kind of dominatrix kind of role. She was calling him a, a little 
wimp or whatever, just like saying like, uh, you know, like downplaying him. And they, it seemed like they're having fun. It seemed like she was having fun they with this, right? They were having a little back and forth, so, yeah. So he panned the camera, you know, the camera got panned away for a sec, came back very quickly, and he made a joke like, oh, in that time she sucked my, you know, it's just playing along with it, playing okay. with the, but, you know, they realized afterwards, they, so she yeah. reached out and said, hey, I didn't like that joke. And they're like, hey, we're sorry. We, you know, we, we meant it as a joke, but yeah. we apologize. It was it, it, distasteful. Yeah. They're like, okay, we think that's the end of it. Month later, she reaches out and uh, with her legal team to Twitch uh -oh. to get him banned. Yeah, that's scummy. That is okay. scummy. You think it's over. You think it's done. It looked like you were having fun. Clearly, there's a misunderstanding. You dealt with it like adults. Yeah. But then you didn't. You came back like a little child with it's your legal so, team behind you. E okay, whoa. Uh, it's so hard to say what's what here because we're not these people, right? Like, we don't know. I don't know what was going on in her head after the fact because there could. that's the thing. Like, a lot of people chime in with their own opinions after, too, and that affects... The, the original person's opinion, right? So, so who she's knows? not thinking for herself. So, so we we don't know. It could it could be a legal team. It could be a mom. It could be a dad. It could be like just friends around too. It's like looking at the situation, being like, "Yo, you were objectified here. You should do something about this." Like they were having a back and forth. She was saying some things back to him too, but he took it too. Like that was a step over the line. Yeah, and, that's and he fine. That. And, and they apologized for that. And you think that's the end of it because as adults, you dealt with it. I mean. Uh, uh, all of this is a learning experience, I feel like, for everybody. It's no, not just, they, not just it's for not them. It's not just a learning experience, because now this guy happen. has to deal with a ban. No, because here's what's going to happen now. All these people that are upset about his ban, they're going to go and they're going to flame her. They're going to attack her, not only her, but other women who maybe dress a certain way. She deserves way. it, though, now. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This She's being a dick. No, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You don't get to be a dick and get away witch, with it. No, this is how witch hunts start. This is unhealthy. This is not okay for the community. It's not okay for anybody who wants to be a streamer, any woman especially, getting into this, these roles that maybe, look, listen, bro. That maybe put some clothes on. Oh, Brody, you can't tell people how to dress, though. Like, you can't then tell Then you people can't how to tell be. people what jokes they can make. Yes, you... If it's a, if it's offensive, yes, you can. Offensive is subjective. <sighs> it truly is the best time of day where we scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. You know we love Sonic Fox for his honest and open tweets, though you know he really means this. Do not associate me with a Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> movie if you don't want your shins to be deleted. And of course, of course, uh, somebody did respond after by just putting like they screen grabbed Sonic's mouth and just being like, <laughs> 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 because like how do you not? He has like human teeth. So honestly, this is exactly this is exactly like how Brody feels when compared to fellow much more famous Canadian Jay Bearsha. Can I put a GIC in a TFSA in an investment portfolio like a turducken of savings? That's a good idea. I think I'll do that. Freddy, I didn't know you were doing RBC commercials too. That's amazing. I used to fight this, but I just accept it now. I have a, I, I do have a weekly quota that I now expect <laughs> of being called Jay Burichel. <laughs> <laughs> like legitimately, at least once a week, sometimes more. I've had people take pictures with me because of how <laughs> close they think I look. Can we please make a command in chat for just the Jay Burichel something to come up or a new emote for subscribers? Jay Burichel. This is my life. I'm always living in a shadow. <laughs> so I'm going to forget about it by moving on. This next one is great because it's never too late to start caring about your skin, fellas. League of Legends Pro X Smithy with the real talk. When you got to kill some noob top laners in the rift and be a lady killer outside of the game. You know what? The moisture. I, I get it. You I, do? You know what? Hey, Are you, I feel. Yeah? Do I, you take good care of your I don't because I just have great skin. But oh. if I didn't, I would have. I, I get, you know, you got, you got a good skin, especially if you're going to be in the public face. You know, these guys, when they're on stage, you want to look good, yeah. right? You want to have clean skin. And it's just nice to have skin that, that works with you. Yeah. You know? um, I feel like, Bro yeah, Brody's uh, one of those guys that literally doesn't even wash his face with soap. He just, like, I shower it with water every single day, sometimes twice. I love showers. That's I love being clean. Surprise. I'm obsessed with it. Just because I come from know. Smash Brothers does not mean I have bad <laughs> hygiene. I, I was good before them. They did not taint me. I do have to let you know right now that Tyler is inquiring in my ear. He really wants to know what your skin regime is. My skin regime? Well, you know, it, it, it all depends what you're doing. If you're just trying to get rid of acne or anything, 
shower, open those pores, you know, <laughs> go pop those pimples right after, close the pores with a uh, cold washcloth. That's all you need to do, really. Maybe hydrate a bit uh, <laughs> with some lotion, but I don't do that because I just have really nice skin. That's not a regime, though. Yeah, that's it. That's just that's showering. Yeah, so shower. Okay. Look at uh, that. All right. Our last profound thought is from our very own Brody Moore. <laughs> like someone, uh, looks like someone just went to the movies. Yep. <laughs> he says, Avengers Endgame? No. Avengers Perfect. Oh my god. And I really that was wish... one of Brody's best tweets. No! I've had. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The shade. She put this on just for the shade. No. Just Avengers for the shade. Perfect. Just for the shade. Bro, actually perfect. Please, everyone, go watch because I'm not going to spoil anything. Please, actually go. What? <laughs> I want to talk to everyone about it. Are you okay? No, Avengers perfect. Like, Brody, honestly. It was! No, yeah, clearly. I know. I can see your excitement in your face. Thank I'm you. so happy for you. I'm just going to take it like you were saying that I had a really good tweet. Yeah, it was, was amazing. Genius. Okay. 10 out of 10. All right, perfect. now let's move on because it's time to get to some crowd control. In the theme of realistic sonics, Sexy Jazz decided to round up the four horsemen. Mm. Oh, that Peppa Pig. Oh There's Luna Colo and SpongeBob as well. <laughs> Can you look at SpongeBob? Hey, you know what? SpongeBob is still more true to the character than that Sonic is. No. Yes. Oh, wait, oh my god. Yes. SpongeBob is frightening. I, I, one of my favorite comments about that was um, uh, someone's like, that Peppa Pig just looks like my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> the shade. That is so wrong. I would love to see a whole movie of cartoon characters done realistically. Like, I, I, I want to feel uncomfortable. It, no, no, that's a You're no out. for me. You're yeah, out. yeah, I'm gonna tap that's on no this deal. one. Uh, we need something nice, so B O T Dubs underscore Nick is gonna lighten the mood with our next meme. <laughs> nobody is born you see, cool. Nobody is born cool, except of course the gamers who say oh, GG even when they lose. <laughs> it's real talk. You know what? That is that is actually one of the hardest things. D chat, yeah. be be honest. Be what? honest right now. How many times do you actually say GG once you win? Probably not often. It is so hard when you lose, especially no. if it wasn't a good game. And so oh. this is why I just keep my chat turned off at all times, so I don't have to say anything. No, Brody, It saves me you, from having to say GG no, when I'm mad. No, it's just part of good sportsmanship. You should absolutely congratulate the other team for winning. They uh, bet they... Uh, you, here's the you. thing, though. You. You're, you're, you, you don't, what? you don't know how what? you play more single-player games, yes. right? So you're not put in the pressure of losing. That's I'm not sure, true. You know what? I play a lot of Clash Royale. And I'm sure. Oh yeah. But yeah. you win all the time. So you don't, I don't no, win all the time. It's actually very difficult to win all the time in Clash Royale. Is there I've a been chat? grinding like crazy. There, there's no. So you, no, so you don't have to no, deal no, with it. No, no, there here. is. There is. There's little emotes, and then there's prompts. You can say good game. Yeah. Of course, and you just let them know. And we do honestly. When it's a good game, we will we'll let each other know. But there's also little emotes just, that just you can use to taunt the person after you beat them too. Send them so. an email. GG, good game. No, I don't. No, no. I, it's just good to have good sportsmanship. Honestly, again, back to the karma thing. Even though Brody doesn't believe in it, and neither does Tesla in the chat. I saw you guys going back and forth. <laughs> time it, it it is real it is real what you put on the universe the universe tends to give back to you so if you're a little more positive so out there somehow positivity will find its way back to you if okay, I so put nothing out there then nothing comes back I remain completely neutral okay it's well, a that's perfect the life plan. you want to live then live that life last post time ever had a, a big bug jump on you and you just like start yes, freaking out yeah course. well uh crass can feel that too as a d6 energy found out in far cry <laughs> or car sorry <laughs> So you're just like, all right, this oh. guy's out. This guy's out. Oh, get it off of me. Get oh it off of me. Oh, please. <laughs> I don't want this anymore, these humans. So gross. Oh, We're safe. Oh my god. Yeah, you could feel the emotion of the car. Was that was that NPC? Yeah. Oh my god, that's got, amazing. It just got murked. <laughs> it's like, just get like... it off! <laughs> See, that's that's just what she's like whenever I just even get near her. That's get away. true. I don't like being touched. No, like, at I, all. I, I gotta say, but I really don't so like. She's so hypocritical. Like, She'll turn around and just start ripping my eyebrows out. No, like, out. okay, because my love language is not physical touch. That's yours. So, like, you, like, I could touch your shoulder and be like, "Good job, Brody. You were so great today." And you would accept that as well. But love. it doesn't mean you you're ripping my eyebrows me, out. Oh no, that's that's just a, uh, an issue I have. I have OCD. <laughs> she no, just goes I, no, no, I have OCD. Like, I need to. If his eyebrows aren't in perfect position, I need to like go through and just fix them. It's not. It's not you. It's, it's me. That's all Brown Muted. Remember that you can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi and send us stuff to react to. Someone type in exclamation mark in the socials right now. And we'll see you next time. Bye.